Well, first of all, I saw that on film with these guys. I mean, they've they led in the second half of the Stanford and Cal games. They, you know, they've been competitive for a lot of minutes. They were really competitive that first half against Nevada, and then Nevada blew them out in the second half. So. Uh, you know, he's doing a good job, but they're just grinding away, grinding away. And they, but we knew that if we kept sawing wood, they'd have, you know, we could make them have some bad minutes. And it's exactly what we did. But the, the mood in the locker room at halftime and the, the message really was we're playing against a zone. They're trying to dictate the shots to us. They really were, you know, trying to eliminate Justinian in the zone. Well, then the other guys were getting great looks. And we've been shooting the ball really well in practice. Shooting the ball better in games, obviously, and you know, so I'm like, I referenced a drill that we do, 208 shooting, and where we set a school record the other day, and we just got to approach our shots that way, and they did. We came out letting it rip, and you know, that started with Marcus's three. And I think uh, you know, Da had back-to-back -back threes. Yeah. I think he had three threes in the second half. Pat had four threes. I think 15 was your season high in threes. I mean, just. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, that's a big part of your game, and it showed up today. No question, but the, you know, the the best thing that we did was it was just consistent simple plays and that's where Pat Emily's growing you know we're on him about I mean he can really see the game and feel the game but he tries to make every play and some of them are way too tough we'll make 99 simple plays and we can be a really good offensive team and he did a really good job of that in the second half where he just ran the team made the easy plays made the easy plays when the shots came to him he just knocked them down and when he does that the game's really easy for him and I mean he scored 18 points tonight and and it looked easy yeah, and, and you know that's the player that I envision, and you know he just needs to get out of his own mind and trust the coaches, and and when he does that, he's getting rewarded. Yeah, I think five guys was a season high in double figures. Yeah, um, I, you know back to back twenty point wins in conference play. I don't know when you guys have yeah, no. done that before, but I mean just just yeah. offensively. I know and at times it was a struggle this season offensively, but to have no a question. couple a game like this has to be pretty encouraging. No question, and and with three double digit wins and. In league play, I mean that's hard to do. League play's hard, and um, the places you got to go are hard. And playing, you know, playing any game on the road. So uh, I'm really proud of our guys the way we came out, the way we approached the game. And then you know you always got to respond. Well, they came back and actually took a lead, like you said. And you know we didn't panic or freak out, and, and, and we responded the right way. And, and it's a credit to these guys. They did it and got it done and what a great road trip i think unofficially that was only the second dunk in a game for jessup in his time here but uh do you remember the first one by chance at loyal yeah okay yeah. <laughs> but for you know for him to try, do that and then you had wacker dunking on a guy yeah. and it just seemed like the bench was having a lot of fun yeah but it just seemed like this was that you guys really just kind of ha had a good good afternoon here. no question we're growing as a team step by step and you know, we got a big one Tuesday as far. They're all big in the league, obviously, but it's a team program that I have a ton of respect for, Coach Muss. And, I mean, you know, they've been, they haven't lost. They lost one game. I mean, yeah. This team has been really impressive in the preseason. We need a huge crowd out there Tuesday night. It's a, not a, it's a 7 o'clock tip, so that's mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's fill the place. I mean, you get a top, you know, top 10 team, a legitimate top 10 team coming in, and, uh, you know what a what a neat opportunity for Bronco Nation to see it. One more about this game, and you were mentioned you mentioned in the Thursday when we met with you that everyone expects you to win by forty, and it's yeah. not that easy. Yeah. And sure enough, you look up with a minute left in the half, and you're lo you are losing a game that everyone thought you were gonna you should have won big. I sure. mean, what, what, I, don't, I don't know if nerves would have set in, or some teams might have got a little tight. I mean, how? Yeah, you know, no question, and you know, you, we've had those moments of that, and but again, it's just falling back on our training and and playing with confidence, and and if, and if you do that, then. Good things happen, and, and you know I think we certainly did that in the second half. I know that you know you didn't last night didn't want to make too much big of a deal of it until you had this game out of the way. But to be able to have that experience last night and oh, for, yeah. for you and your guys, what was that like? It, it meant a lot, and you know as coaches, I, you know that's something that I've always done, and you know I, I you know coaches' instincts are to lock up their guys and put them to bed and tuck them in, and and then you regret that. And these guys are about it's about having experiences and and learning, you know, and getting to see things that they never get a chance to see and do things. But on the other hand, too, it, it meant a lot to, the, the, you know, our alumni who plays in the M NBA mm -hmm. for us to, you know, go the night before a game and stay there with them afterwards. And it meant a lot, and, and he's important to us. And uh, I was really glad we got to do it. It was, a, it was God's providence that we that they played there yeah. that night, so it worked out great. I mean, you combine that with, with a 20-plus point win, and, I mean, it, you, it seemed like a – couldn't really ask for much more on this trip, I guess. No question. A terrific trip, and it's a noon game. We get home tonight, and, you know, we're, we can hit the ground running and start prepping on the way home. And I know, last thing, you mentioned you're going to be doing something Monday morning, I guess, yeah. to try to get the fans out. I guess 
maybe explain that for, for folks that watch this. And also, you mentioned the crowd, but how big do you need a big crowd oh, on Tuesday? Yeah, that's huge. And, and we need our we get our students back. So, you know, we got to get them there because, uh, like I said, what a great opportunity. You know, you got a 3 0 Boise State against one of the best teams in the country. And Bronco Nation's been awesome. And I think they're getting behind this team, and we need them there and you know come out and support us and don't sit home and watch it we need you there because you make a difference what are you doing for students on monday i'm hounding out uh, donut holes i believe at 10 o'clock and okay. then uh, we're going streaking in the quad <laughs> 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 no we're not but, uh, <laughs> i told bob and abe that and you know that uh, but no it's one of those you know that's how it always starts i always throw something out there and that's not it <laughs> okay that is not it but i'm playing that we we get a you know Big, big Bronco turnout. Bronco Nation comes out, and you know, seven o'clock game, perfect national TV, I believe, right? And away we go. Let's let's have a great representation and help us battle, because you know, we, you know, you have to play a great game against them. They're they're uh, like I said, they're they're not winning all these games by accident or luck. They're a really really good team, and like I said, I got a lot a ton of respect for their players and their coaches, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play a great game, and we need the help of our fans.